We've all seen images like this in the news and the media. But did you know that critical race theory has been around since the 1970s? With the spread of misinformation across the internet these days, it can be hard to figure out exactly what it is. That's why we made this video. Welcome to your PD Lead Day Prep video. I'm Dr. Gina Delgado. And my name is Dr. Nate Kerber, but you can just call me Nate. We're here to tell you how to apply this PD Day's concepts to your everyday practice. For this video, we will be covering the tenets of critical race theory. Critical race theory is a useful and applicable framework for many different scenarios. In education, it's particularly useful to create insight into how systemic racism shows up in curriculum, social settings, testing, and more. At its core, CRT believes that every social structure, institution, and construct has racist tendencies in some shape or form baked into them. Implanted into nearly every situation, critical race theory provides a framework to be able to critically analyze how racism shows up in everyday life. This basically claims that racism is an everyday factor that is deeply linked into our culture and life. To ignore this is to ignore systemic racism. How can racism be dismantled if it's never acknowledged? It also recognizes that reality is socially co-created and is founded on the commitment to social justice. This entails to end oppression of one group by another because of differences in race, religion, ethnicity, and or ability. It is important to note that CRT enables the telling of counter narratives and is actively seeking to dismantle and revise the dominant narrative by explicitly talking about these sorts of experiences and perspectives. So now I'm sure you're all wondering, well, that's great, but what does it do for my teaching? Well, that's what enrichment is all about. And one way you can enrich your classroom space with a critical lens and approach is by incorporating counter narratives in your lessons and in your instruction. For you elementary teachers, a great way to enrich your classroom is structuring your lesson and instruction around a counter narrative focused on gender, gender norms, and gender stereotypes. For example, have your students draw a dancer as a pre activity, then read Tommy De Paola's Oliver Button as a sissy. And finally, discuss differences between the dancer they drew and the dancer you read about in the story. This activity aligns directly with your Nevada speaking and listening standards and can also tie in your Nevada reading standards as you discuss how Oliver and his classmates' feelings changed across the story. And from your survey feedback, for our secondary teachers, specifically you science folks, the story in life of Estebanico offers a great counter narrative that naturally aligns to history and reading standards, but his story also offers a chance to incorporate these Nevada science standards. As you discuss how the arrival of Estebanico impacted the ecosystems he encountered and interacted with in the Southwest. So how do you integrate this into your practice? I'm sure you've heard this a million times. Reflection is a powerful tool for creating self-awareness and integration of concepts into your everyday reality. During your professional development day, keep this in mind. One, focus on one of the following areas in your school or in a school that you may potentially work at. Race, language, ability, gender, or gender slash sexual orientation. Two, reflect critically. How does racism show up in your classroom? In your curriculum? How does discrimination show up in the experiences of, for example, English language learners? What about gender bias in class discussions? And three, what actions might be taken to address this concern? Thank you for reviewing this video. As you're listening to our speakers this weekend, keep in mind how you can enrich your classroom with a more critical approach. Here is the schedule for the keynote speeches and breakout rooms. Please take note, and we hope to see you there.